Otto is a new kind of art form, a decentralized autonomous artist guided by a community in the form of a DAO. Through the union of AI models, blockchain technology and community governance, Botto develops an aesthetic and body of work with the assistance of crowd input, with the hopes that one day it will be fully autonomous. This pioneering new medium is an experiment in AI governance. Botto attempts to align with the values of those who help it succeed, while also giving those contributors recognition and reward for their contribution. So, how does Botto's autonomous artistic process work? Botto's art engine is a closed-loop system that has no direct human intervention. It has three fundamental components, a prompt generator, open-source text-to-image models, and a taste model. The prompt generator creates about 20,000 prompts a week and are a combination of random words and full sentences. The prompt is then sent to Botto's text-to-image models, such as Stable Diffusion and VQGAN plus Clip. Every week, Botto generates around 20,000 images. From those images, a taste model is used to filter out the best ones. So that Botto maintains its agency, there is no human editing involved in this process. Images and prompts are not altered. The training input comes when the Botto community votes on their favorite pieces from a pool of images selected by the taste model. That voting is what trains Botto's art engine, specifically the prompt generator and taste model. So Botto's taste is guided by the community's feedback over time. Each week, this process is repeated, further developing Botto's aesthetic week after week. During this voting process, if a particular image grabs the community, personal experiences, tastes and memes populate an entire off-chain deliberation in the Discord server. Members discuss and interpret pieces to pull a meaningful thread through Botto's overall work. Collective meaning-making adds strength to Botto's outputs, generating an entire lore behind each artwork. The DAO is not only responsible for giving feedback to Botto to develop its aesthetic, but also helps steward the protocol, which determines how the autonomous artist continually evolves its capabilities and manages its developing practice. Only the most popular piece from Botto's production in a voting round is then minted and sold as an NFT, as a true and final artwork. The proceeds of the sale go back into the community to pay them for their contributions as well as pay for other costs like Botto's service. This economic element functions as its own autonomous force, attracting contributors to help perpetuate Botto's creative process, making it generative not only aesthetically, but economically. Botto began with Genesis in October 2021, putting a total of 52 pieces to auction, and now has been working based off of community-selected themes. Each period maintains the taste model, creating a continuously developing taste of the artist throughout its evolution. In this new art form, Botto as a whole, the DAO governance, the art engine and the economy, is the art of Botto as much as the images which it produces. The minted NFTs are tokens of Botto's development, as well as the community's development. This, in a way, offers some freedom from old mythology around how we define ownership in art, recontextualizing how we assign value to new mediums which are seemingly infinitely reproducible. This new paradigm challenges the idea of scarcity and single authorship in creativity, and begs us to ask ourselves, how much of art is truly made alone?